Welcome, my jazz guitar friends all over the world. Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. This is the first of a series of minor blues guitar lessons. In this tutorial, I'm focusing on chord substitutions or reharmonizations on the minor blues progression. I'll teach you the theory behind it and of course I'm going to show you on guitar and I'm going to show everything slow and easy and there is also a slow tempo version towards the end of this lesson. I've made taps and backing tracks for you so you can uh, start practicing right away and the links to these are down below in the description box. All right now grab your guitars and let's get started. Alright, before we start substituting the original minor blues progression, we have to know the original minor blues progression. So here it is in A minor. Alright, we are in the key of A minor. We have an A minor 7 here, 5, 5, 5, 5. And this lasts for 5, uh, sorry, for 4 bars. So what can we do? We can always add the fifth degree in between. So the fifth of the A is an E, and we need the dominant E7. And now let's look at this. If we added a ninth to, to it, we would get a, an F sharp. F sharp is not included in the A minor scale, so we need to alter this chord. We already had that in the um, original version, but not as a substitute for the uh, first chord. For the first degree so we can have an e7 sharp 9 that would be 7 6 7 8 of the inner four strings or the flat 9 7 6 6 7 6 and in front of that we put its second degree all right so we make it a little minor cadence all happening within the one chord the first four bars so we add a b half diminished Here's the B7, then 7, 7, 6. So we change from B half diminish over to E7, I would say flat 9, for example. But you can use sharp 9 too. But flat 9 leads us better to the A minor. So what we have is the first bar of A minor, second bar of a little cadence, B half diminished, E7 flat 9, and back to A minor in the third bar. So for the fourth bar, we need to think what is after the uh, fourth bar. It's the D minor chord. So we want to make a little minor cadence again, leading us, bringing us to the D minor chord. So the D minor is the fourth of the uh, A minor blues, the fourth degree. But let's consider it to be the one chord for a second. And we put a 2-5 in front of it. So the second degree in a D minor scale is an E half diminished. That's seven, eight, seven, eight of the inner four strings. And its five chord is an A7. That's always two, five, A7. And now let's look if, we, if it needs to be altered or unaltered. If I don't alter it, I would get this 13 here. And this is not included in the D minor scale because D minor has an F, not an F sharp. So we alter it again. And what we get in our case as guitarists is an A7 flat 13, for example. So we go from E half diminished to A7 flat 13, or sharp 5 could, could also be uh, called like that. All right, so the first four bars are played like this. Three, four. And now we get to the D minor and let's have a look what we play there. Now we just resolved to the uh, D minor chord 
and we have it for two bars usually. So we want to uh, chord substitute the second bar of it. And in order to do that, we have to know what comes past it after it. After D minor is A minor again. So we can, again, we put a 2-5 in. The 2-5 of the A minor is B half diminished and E7 altered. We already learned that that it's nothing new but what's new now is that we can add or or replace uh, this altered chord by a tritone substitute and this is really awesome uh, here's the root of the E7 uh, and a tritone apart is always one to the left on the, on the previous string or to the next it's symmetrical so it doesn't matter let's go down and it gives us a B flat and if we take a regular E7 chord, like this, for example, and we just replace the E by the B flat tritone, what we get, I've read this with my thumb now, and I changed nothing else. What I get now is a B flat 7 flat 5 chord. And although it's just one note uh, changed, it sounds totally new. It gives us a new, fresh sound. And that's really cool. Also, it leads us better to the one chord because it's just a semitone apart and not a fifth, right? So what we do is in that second bar of D minor, we play B half diminished. And by the way, this is related to D minor. Look at this. This is a D minor triad. If I play a regular D minor chord, here is the part. Can you see this? Yeah. Here is the part, just uh, the, the root is changed, so a B half diminished is almost like a D minor chord, right? So those are related anyway. I take advantage of that and, and play the two, five, and then a quick change to B flat seven flat five, the tritone substitute. I play them all in one bar. And let's hear what this sounds like. I start from the D minor. One, two, three, four. That's the resolution again, the E minor. So I had something like this rhythm going on. One and, 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 one. Something like that. All right, let's check what we can do on that next A minor again. Now it's back to two chords of A minor seven and we wanna substitute the uh, second chord, uh, the second bar. So the first is a regular A minor seven. And let's look what is after the second bar of A minor 7. F13. F mixo, some F dominant, but unaltered. All right. This is already in the regular blues. We actually, we, I played F9 in the, in the beginning, but that's the same thing, just lower down, F13. All right. And Again, we add a 2-5. We can always do that. And by the way, you can jazz up any pop tune by throwing in two fives. All right. So um, the 2-5 of this F is G minor to C9. Now, this is a major chord. It's a dominant chord, but it's a major chord and not a minor chord. So a 2-5 now doesn't start with a half diminished as before. It's a major cadence now. G minor seven, three, 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 to C nine, two, three, two, three, three, in a four strings. I could also alter this because it resolves to uh, the F, and when something resolves, you can alter it, uh, the previous uh, chord, the dominant chord. But I personally don't like it, and I know a lot of people who don't uh, alter it, but you could. If you wanted to alter it, you just add a sharp nine to it. All right, or a flat nine, but sharp nine would lead better, better to the F13. But I'm just going straight with G minor seven to C, C9. And also I add in a little chromatic, um, that was my stomach, I'm hungry already, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I add in a little chromatic between the A minor seven and the G minor seven. So what we get is this, three, four. All 
right, and now for the F13, I wanna, um, I don't know how to say that. I, I, I wanna add a second chord to it. Uh, F13, I can also play F9, um, another F13, sorry. Here, starting on the uh, seventh of the chord, and that's the uh, six, seven, seven, six of the inner four strings. And that kind of spices up, that's what I wanted to say before, it spices up. And it leads me better to the five chord that follows now, and that's the E7, right? So I split that bar into these two F13s, both F13s. Root would be here, or actually it's here, here's an F, but it starts on the seventh, right? And now I change over to the E7 altered. We need to be altered. We learned that for minor key. And I start with the uh, sharp nine, go over to the flat nine, and then I add my tritone substitute again, we learned before, B flat seven, flat five. All right, so that whole thing. Three, four. Now let's check some ways to reharmonize the turnaround at the end. In the original blues progression, actually we don't really have a turnaround. We just have the one chord and the five chord. What we want to do is uh, we want to add a real turnaround, so we want to make it one, six, two, five. And this gives us the following roots. A, F sharp, that's the sixth, B is the second degree, and E is the fifth degree of the A minor scale. Now let's check chord, the chords. The one chord is clear, it's A minor seven. For the uh, sixth degree, we have several options. Uh, F sharp half diminished would be what's actually in the scale. So um, that's 9, 10, 9, 10. Then the 2 is also half diminished. That would be a B half diminished. 7, 7, 6 again. We know this one. And the 5, of course, is our E altered. So that would be a very simple Now let's check out some reharmonization of that one. You can choose whatever you like, and I'm gonna tell you in a second what I've chose for uh, this particular video. All right, <clears throat> let's leave the A minor, let's uh, leave the F um, sharp half diminished, but now let's change the B half diminished into a B7 dominant chord. We can always add a blues turnaround, we can always change everything into dominant, except maybe for the first degree, which should be minor in a minor blues. So let's make this a B7, and it needs to be altered in order to get to that E altered, right? So we have A half diminished, F sharp half diminished, B altered, 7, 7, 8, 8, that's B7 sharp 5, and E altered. Next uh, thing we can do is we can also alter the F sharp half diminished. Now everything is altered except for the one chord. I choose an F sharp seven sharp nine. Seven, uh, sorry, nine, eight, nine, ten in a four strings. B altered <coughs> and E altered. That's what I went for in our song, but let's check some more. A minor, then let's um, tritone substitute that F, F sharp 7 altered. If I just tritone substitute that root, I get a C13. See, I did nothing else but changing the F sharp to the C, and what I get is a C13. Cool, huh? Right, now I'll leave the B altered and the E altered. So this is another version. I play E altered and uh, sharp nine and flat nine sometimes, but that's just the same thing. Okay, and the last one, 
I leave that F uh, sharp altered and try to substitute the B altered. Now I just need to uh, change the root to the tritone. That's the tritone again, always this uh, interval. And then it turns out to be an F9. So going from F7, let's say sharp, F sharp 7 sharp 9 to F9. And then to E7 altered. So that's another way. video I went with this one. F sharp 7 altered, B7 altered and E7 altered. Okay now let's check the entire song at slow tempo and this is the uh, exact transcription that you get uh, from the tabs down below in the description box. All right Don't forget to check out my other minor blues tutorials and if you want to we see each other next week uh, please give me a fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I see you next week. Servus, baba!